the zimmer um, is set at five. Uh, if it's too cold, it will actually frost the sacrificial window and the, the machine won't work. So I'm going to actually put that up to 40 minutes so we've got plenty of cold air. And Tina, if you don't feel that cold air at any time, let me know. So it should feel like this. And we're ready to go. So I'm going to press ready. And we're going to start on this side. Okay, so the device is now activated. I'm going to do a little bit on a rear load. So Tina, tell me how this feels. I'm making a pouring technique, which is I'm going down, I'm lifting my handpiece up and coming back to point A again. So A to B, picking it up, coming back, A to B. And I'm going over the same line twice. So this is two passes. How does that feel, Tina? Yeah, that's fine. So I've already done two at two passes here. So I'm coming this way. So you you would make two passes vertically, two passes horizontally. That makes your four passes. following with the little kind of rub of my finger because it's clearly a little bit uncomfortable for her today. We're putting a lot of energy into the skin. The tip has to be perpendicular. This is number six. So we've just got two more passes to make. So that's number seven and eight. It's important to keep all eight passes in the area that you're treating instead of treating the whole face once and then coming back and treating it again because we need to create the heat in the skin that's going to deliver the energy that we need to be able to stimulate collagen. So that's that section finished. And then we'll do the same as we go around the rest of the face. So I just wanted to go over the pouring technique that is used for the Fraxel. It's the same technique as the clear and brilliant, but just to be clear, we don't run our tip back and forth like this, because if we do, we have hot spots at either end. And so the whole idea is to place your tip down. You can do it at the bottom of the area you're treating or at the top. And this would be point A, and I'm going to point B and then I'm lifting my tip, taking my foot off the foot switch and then coming back to point A again and passing the tip down to point B again. That means I've done two passes over that particular area. And I would actually follow that path right the way through that area. So it's called the pouring technique. 
And then I would change my position, turning the handpiece in the opposite way and coming this way. So again, lifting always. You just have to remember where you've been and so you're not going to overlap or under treat an area. And you would do that eight times, as we suggested before, as a therapeutic amount of uh, passes.